I'm here at Sage Ranch at my favorite meditation spot, and I've shown it to you before, but I thought I'd show it to you again in case you haven't seen it, or you forgot. This is my view from where I sit. So I'm sitting on a big rock here out in the open, a huge rock. Where I'm sitting is very flat. And then there's this beautiful view and this beautiful breeze and the sunlight. It's, it's really nice. For some time now, for me, um, it's like there are strands of fourth dimensional, like mental, emotional energy weaving through the physical world. It's hard to explain. It's, um, it's like for all the past, many past ages, uh, we humans uh, saw the world through a, a mental, emotional construct that a kind of a mental emotional cage that walled us off from the true physicality of earth and uh, and we didn't know it we uh, very seldom maybe in a state of, ex of a flash of enlightenment once in a lifetime people would would realize what the true physical world was see things exactly as they are just for a moment and then then go back into the mental emotional cage you know there's stories about that and um, so it's been like that for a long time and uh, only recently I've been feeling uh, through constant mindfulness paying attention to my thoughts and uh, thought and emotions uh, for for like 14 years now and um, it's become very obvious to me the distortions that my mind and emotions um, place upon the, the actual physical state so and at the same time through mindfulness I'm paying a lot of attention to what's going on in my mind and emotions my mental emotional field so as this, this like uh, this this turning and combining and weaving together of the energies of physical Earth and the fourth dimension, or all this is taking place. It's like many times during a day, I'll find myself first in the completely physical world, like right now, and then after a while, caught up in some mental story or. Uh, some emotional story or like that, that that has qualities that I used to identify with as the reality, my reality. But they're not real anymore. But still my mind is and my emotions are, are getting stuck in this linear thinking and uh, um, time-space stuff all the time. It's like, first the one thing, completely physical. Next, uh, and here and now. Next, the other thing, a linear thinking and storytelling in my mind and like that. And it's become quite a project for me to distinguish what's actually true, what's truly physical, what's truly here, you know. And sometimes I find myself going off and believing the stories in my mind and getting caught up in that, you know, and actually acting in the physical world on the basis of these stories in my mind. It's incredible. And... And, and so, so when I find myself doing that, I say, wait just a minute, you know. I add to that, act in a physical way with regard to the physical world. And just let those stories go, you know. What a bother. What a nuisance. And what an interesting process. Well, enjoy your day. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.